Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2025 Ford F-150. We're going through our, uh, I like to call them complete guide videos, uh, where we cover all the standard equipment plus the different optional equipment on the different trim levels. And we have come to the XLT trim, probably the most uh, popular trim of all uh, the trim levels. And uh, we're going to cover all, all that standard equipment in here in this video because the order banks are open up right now. So you can place an order with your local dealer. And hopefully this video gives you some information to help you with that and, and figure that all out for you if you're looking at the XLT trim. Uh, so uh, we'll go through this where timestamps down below so you can go ahead and, and do that. Uh, we'll have ordering tips at the end, a uh, timestamp for that, as well as we have a YouTube special. So if you want to order from us, we have a very, uh, we have a special and uh, just a hint. It's uh, it's below MSRP pricing for you if you find if you want to use our YouTube special. So more about that will be at the timestamp at the end of the video as well. But the main point is I want you to guys get the facts and, and information here on this uh, video. So we're going to dive in. And talk about this. We are going to use Ford's build and price for us. Oh, by the way, if you like videos like this, make sure you're subscribed with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss any of these videos in this series. Uh, so there we go. There's there's my last shameless plug. Um, all right. Now let's go ahead and go on over to uh, Ford's build and price. And uh, we are going to go and, and use this. Go to Ford.com and you can see this. Go up here to vehicles, uh, trucks, vans, and SUV, trucks, trucks and vans. Go to the F-150 here. And what you're going to see there when you go is probably a 24 model year. And that's because uh, they'll have as long as uh, the building price will be available, as long as there's inventory at dealer lots uh, for that. So the search inventory. So 24. Now, if you want 25 information, you got to click on this 25 right here in this bar. And then you'll see everything switch over to 25. And if you scroll down, you can see now a building price for 25. If I click on building price. Now you'll see 25 model year building price. And we're going to start our build right here. And uh, so you can see different configurations in here. I always like to tell people in the videos, you know, figure out what cab configuration you're looking for and what bed box you're looking for. And then kind of go from there, because like if I pick regular cab, it's only available in the XL trim, you know. Uh, so if I and if I want a super cab instead, what's well, available in the XL, X, STX and XLT. So this is the last trim level where you can get a super cab configuration. And of course, super crew, you're going to have about all of them available in the super crew. And again, depending on what configuration you want super cab eight foot bed that isn't even available anymore they did away with super cab eight foot bed which is a uh, kind of crazy uh but six and a half foot bed okay i can still get that in these three configurations so um anyway so there you go that's something to keep in mind right there so we're going to go xlt starts at um actually the yeah actually even super crew only available oh wait let me take this off now go super cab there you go uh, 45 495 for a super cab xlt super crew xlt starts at 47 855 so we're going to go in here and start our build for the xlt and we're going to start here with the mechanical features on this and to kind of go over some of the th different things that are available you'll see a lot of engine offers here and we're going to tell you what's standard equipment when we go through this here real quick Okay, now we're going to go over that. Now, I did, did uh, forget to tell you, I did. Uh, we did notice earlier the Super Cab um, and Super Cur the only cam cab configurations for the XLT trim. Uh, Super Cab, six and a half foot bed, and either two wheel drive or four wheel drive is available. Again, no eight foot ped. Um, and also something else to note on that, we're going to talk about equipment groups in a second. And what standard equipment now is a 300A. Uh, for all those and the super cab is available in a 300a and a 301a when you get into the 302 and 303a that requires super crew configuration and now on the super crew two wheel drive only comes in a five and a half foot bed but the four by four you can get in a five and a half or six and a half foot bed so just so you're aware of that uh, going on this now talking about the engines over here the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology, which means when it comes to a stop light, stop sign, it'll shut the vehicle off. Like with a brake, it'll turn it back on. Um, that is standard on all uh, configurations, other than a uh, the Super Crew six and a half foot four by four. That configuration that will come standard with the 5.0 liter V8 engine. So when you go to to figure that out, uh, now we'll get into optional equipment and these other engines in a little bit. Um, but there you go. Also, you'll notice the hybrid down here. Well, again, we'll get in the, in the in a little bit, but hybrid is not available in a 300A at all, even a standalone option. So you have to go 301A or above to get the power boost. That's why you're not seeing a price on this right here. So there you go. 
And then 10 speed automatic transmission is going to be standard equipment as well. Uh, that'll also have the select shift auto automatic with the progressive range select. And you'll also get the four by fours will get select shift on the fly with neutral towing capability. And then they'll all come with drive modes. Two wheel drives will get a normal, eco, sport, tow haul, slippery, and a trail mode. And the 4x4s will have all the same modes with the exception instead of a trail mode, you're going to get a deep snow sand mode and a mud ruts mode. So those are different changes on the 4x4. Electric parking brake with auto hold as well. So you can hold that brake if you want to take your foot off the brake at a stop, something like that. You also have hill start assist, which will help you if you're on a hill starting up so you don't drift back when you switch from the brake to the gas. Um, a fully boxed steel frame, uh, front independent uh, front suspension, I should say, uh, fail-safe cooling system, and for your shocks. They're going to be a gas shock front and rear. Uh, the front ones are heavy-duty front, heavy-duty in the rear as well. Difference in the rear is they're going to be outboard mounted. That means outside of those rear leaf springs. The, the springs in the front will be coil springs up there. And then front stabilizer bar and rack and pin power rack and pinion steering as well there for you so all right now we're going to get into the safety features and i'm going to play clip i did on a video earlier because they're all the same safety features as they were on the xl and x and stx if you watch those videos now you can go ahead and click forward to that timestamp for the exterior features safety features next uh, i don't really have a lot i'll throw in some images uh when i can here on this but for the airbags you're gonna have a driver in front passenger driver and front passenger front airbag dual stage airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle there are sensors under the seats that knows that driver and passenger seat mounted side impact airbag that's going to deploy from the side of the seat if you have that side collision that uh, where somebody hits you uh, in the a b pillar that kind of thing also safety canopy side curtain airbags for the first and second row when you have you know super cab or super crew Deploy down from the roof line with a rollover sensor. So uh, that'll help protect you from breaking glass and sheet metal coming in. Um, they will have advanced track with roll stability control, including curve control. So if you go into that curve maybe too fast, maybe it's slick, that kind of thing, it'll help correct you. Uh, use a series of brakes and the, the wheel that it needs to to help keep you on your intended path. And then also we do have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. That's going to give you pedestrian detection. So at, at certain speeds, it'll actually... Uh, let you know if there's pedestrians coming across and alert you with the front collision warning that's gonna that's gonna sound it's a uh, beeping and everything honk you know going off and then uh in your productivity screen it's gonna light up red as well so you know uh that you need to stop and it's gonna preload the brakes with a dynamic brake support preloads those brakes so when you do uh, finally hit the brake you're gonna brake even faster so it's gonna help with that there is post collision braking as well so uh, that's uh, usually helps out if you have that collision and maybe you don't put it in park that happens um, you know, you're rushed, didn't think about it. Maybe you're unconscious as well, and that's a possibility, and your foot comes off the brake. So post-collision braking is also very important. Now, also this year, we do have intersection assist as standard equipment on your even your XL base vehicle. So intersection assist, if you're coming across an intersection and there's someone coming, it's going to stop you and brake so you don't hit them. So that's pretty uh, pretty awesome as well. Now, a couple of new things that we're seeing for the XL trim we didn't see last year, and that is camera only evasive steering assist now evasive steering assist usually means if you can't stop in time and you need to avoid them they don't help assist in your steering i'm not sure what the difference between camera only and the actual evasive steering assist is um so we'll try to get more information on some of this because this is new for this year it wasn't available last year we also do have camera only automatic emergency braking oncoming that's the wording that's the phrasing so that is assume if there's someone coming at you and just instead of you following somebody and you might hit them like the, the pre-collision assist does, um, this in here is, is if they're coming on to you. Now, camera only, I don't know, what, again, what that means. So we're going to get more information, hopefully do some future videos about these. Um, when you get to the higher trim levels, they take out the wording camera only on those two. So I needed to get the difference and figure out what the difference is between those. And we'll get you, get you updated on that and hopefully get a video out for you. SOS post crash alert system. Also, if you're off the side of the road, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, let people know you're all, you need to uh, come to their safety. We do also have lane keeping system. So that's going to get you lane keeping alert, the aid, the driver alert, and now road edge detection. So if you're on the side of the road, it's going to detect that and alert you. I've actually had this go off on my expedition. Um, so it's pretty cool technology. Now the driver alert is going to alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often and let you know, maybe you need to pull off, have some coffee. 
And then lane keeping alert and aid. Those can be worked together or separately. So the alert's going to do is it'll let you go over the lines, but it'll vibrate the steering wheel when you, you, you've done that. The aid system will help try to keep you in your lanes. So again, it needs to be able to see those lines, um, but it's a pretty cool system, and you can activate either one or the other or both of those together um, if you want. Also, perimeter alarm. So when you lock that vehicle up, it's going to go ahead and uh, and secure the, the vehicle outside of vehicle. So if somebody tries to break the glass, get inside. It's going to set off their sensors inside as well as on your um, the if you if they try to take your wheels and such. So it'll honk the horns, flash the lights, and everything like that. If there's somebody inside, it will not activate by the way. So some people have asked that before. Also, security lock, passive anti-theft system. Uh, only the coded key can start the vehicle. That's the easiest, simplest way to, to explain that. Um, so it's going to lock that vehicle up. Now, also, last year we did see this. The Ford security package, you get one year of activation included. What this is going to do is if someone steals your vehicle, you're able to use a service that allow you to try to recover that. So they don't want you to go to it, but you're, you're going to be able to see where that vehicle is located and at when that vehicle is turned off. And then you can contact them and then they will help recover your vehicle. And so they will be able to go right to the vehicle and uh, hopefully recover your vehicle. So you're not instructed to do it on your own. There you go. All right, now we're going to get into the exterior features, and I actually enlarged this so we could see real good on the, this, the front of it. So the grill is going to be different for this one. This is a black coast-to-coast -coast grill, as you're going to see here. A little different design here because you're going to see this black bar that goes across here, and that will change as we go into different equipment groups. Um, and LED reflector headlights up here with the black bezels in there. Um, you also get automatic headlights. So come on, I'll make when it gets dark. Shut off when it gets light. Uh, also, you're going to have the daytime running lights. There's an on-off cluster that's configurable. You also have the rain lamp. They're wiper-activated headlights. They'll come on when the wipers are on. Auto high beams as well, so they'll come on uh, when it's bright enough outside, if, or dark enough outside, I should say. They'll come on. Someone approaches you in the city lights, it'll shut them off. That's something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. LED fog lights, as you can see, standard equipment on all XLTs, even the 300A. The bumpers are going to be chrome. Chrome bumpers up here, body-colored front fascia up there. Uh, so you'll have that. Um, and then black, actually down here will be your black front fascia right down there. So um, you'll see that right there. Um, and then also we have, uh, look at my notes here. We have tow hooks. The 4x4s will have front tow hooks. And then for your wheels, they are uh, I'm moving to the side. We have for the wheels a 17-inch silver painted aluminum wheel for the two-wheel drives. Now, the 4x4s will get an 18-inch chrome wheel. So that'll be the difference between two-wheel drive and 4x4. On the tires for the two-wheel drives, it's a 245-70R17 all-season tire. And then on the uh, 4x4s, it'll be a 275-65R18 all-terrain black sidewall tire. Uh, a tire pressure monitoring system for those. You will also have for the brakes, four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. And uh, for the mirrors, you have a black mirror cap, as you're seeing with this here. Uh, and also, um, it's actually showing a camera under there, but that's not standard equipment. We'll get into that in a second. Manual folding mirror, power glass with heat. Uh, you will have the Bliss, the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. As you're backing up, cross traffic alert. So if someone's going to cross your path behind you. It's going to alert you. It's going to uh, put up red on the screen that you need to stop. Also, the tones and everything so you know someone's back there. Uh, and then, of course, you do have the fender badge. It's going to be, and you can see it's chrome now instead of black like we did see before in the other trims. It'll say XLT on the side. And then your door handles will be black door handles uh, as well as the tailgate handle. Um, and we'll do have the easy fuel capless filler door. So no uh, cap to worry about. You just open this door and uh, you just put the nozzle in, fill it up when you're done. I'll uh, go ahead and close the door. And uh, that's nice and easy. Now your fuel tank for this is going to be a extended range 36 gallon fuel tank and all the super cab and super cruise. So that's going to be standard equipment now. On the back of the cab is a cargo lamp that integrated with the center high mounted stoplight. Third brake light, as some people might call it. Uh, does have rear privacy, so these back windows and back glass will be uh, tinted uh, for you. You'll see rear defrost back there as well. You can see the lines through there. And then uh, you'll have uh, that. Um, and then on the back, chrome bumpers back here as well. So chrome bumpers on the front and the back. Rear view camera with reverse sensing system, the standard equipment. So as you're backing up, you're going to see behind you 
and you can alert if you get too close to anything. And it does have reverse brake assist. So as you're, if you're backing up, not paying attention, and you're still not stopping, if it alerts you, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't hit anybody or maybe run over a bike or maybe even hit a car. Uh, in the back, we do have a spare tires tucked underneath. You do have, uh, of course, with that, you do have this little cover for where the jack goes in, but it's not lockable. Uh, that's that's a standalone option now. Uh, we do have a jack. It's located behind the back seat uh, on the passenger side back there. And then for your exhaust tip, it is a single exhaust tip. I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Uh, let's me. And that's so you'll see that right over there sticking out. We do have a power tailgate lock, so it locks with the remote. So you do have keyless entry remote there with you. I think it's still a flip key right now at this point. Um, and then tailgate uh, lift assist, so it'll make it easier lifting that tailgate. And the tailgate is removable, so you can take the tailgate out uh, for you there. So, all right. And then we do have class four trailer tow hitch, standard equipment here with a smart trailer tow connector that allows you to be able to have that checklist so you don't forget to, to do everything when you're hooking up your trailer. Four pin and seven pin wiring connector is going to come with that, and you're going to get trailer sway control as well with that. Inside, you're going to have four tie-down hooks in there. I think they're towards the bottom of the bed um, on the four corners. And then you do have a bed storage box as well in these. Now, um, does say, okay, um, there you go. And zone lighting as well. So zone lighting is going to use these lights here as well as um, underneath the, the security approach lamp. Well, this doesn't have that. But the lights back here as well as in the front for some zone lighting so you can light the front and the back. Um, normally you light the side with the mirrors uh, on the or on the from the mirrors, but there you won't have LED lights on those yet. So, uh, but you'll have the zone lighting for that. So, all right, and then moving to the inch here. Oh, one more. All right, get to the inch here here, and uh, this is going to have uh, illuminated entry for you, for you. So it's going to light up. I think it's the map lights up there. So when you unlock the vehicle, it'll illuminate it and let you go get in. You have fade to off interior lighting as well. So when you, uh, of course, shut the doors, eventually it'll go off for you. We do have carpeted flooring with the carpeted mats as well in there. Um, and then we do have scuff plates molded in black that are on the, the front doors in there. Uh, interior, the door trim is a soft uh, padded right there. You do have grab handle as well as the, there's some pockets in there. They call them map pockets uh, in the doors there. You do have, um, of course, uh, air conditioning registers. So they'll be black with the chrome uh, little button um, knob there for you to adjust those. Um, grab handles, you'll have two in the um, front seat on a driver and front passenger above them. And then in the back, you also have two, one on each side for back there. So you can it helps you get in the vehicle if you need to. Now for the seats, I'm going to go back to this image, is a cloth 40-20-40 bench seat. You can see that 20% side will go down. Uh, you have a, a, a you know compartment in there to, to store things in, cup holders as well. All right there, two-way manual adjustment for the driver and front passenger. So the uh, lever underneath to go forward and back in the backrest. And then you do have manual lumbar as well. And then, of course, I mentioned that armrest right there too. All right, uh, in the back... Uh, you're going to be cloth seats back here. You'll have two USB ports on the back of the con um, uh, at the bottom underneath where that seat cushion is. And then you'll have 60-40 uh, flip-up uh, uh, seat here. So uh, it'll split, right, I think, right there. And then uh, the Super Crew will get a more elongated one. So it'll be wider because you have more room in there for that. And then your, it says in here, under seat storage. It's not showing it here, but it is showing under seat storage. Uh, for that, I think it's actually right under here, so just a little bit at right the very back of that seat. Uh, so it'll have that pos positioned off so that you can actually put things in there, smaller items and such. Um, and then you're going to have power windows uh, and power locks for you. The windows are front and rear power windows. The front ones will be one touch uh, for the driver and front passenger windows. One touch means you just hard press it down and it's going to roll down. You don't have to hold it uh, coming up the same way. Power locks, again, you'll have that flip key, keyless entry, uh, so still a keyed start for this at this point. Um, and then uh, there you go. 12-inch productivity screen in the instrument cluster there. Steering wheel is a black urethane steering wheel. It does have a manual lock for the tilt and telescoping, so you can uh, go up and down, forward and back, and lock it back into place. Cruise control on the steering wheel as well as con uh, controls for the screens, for the productivity screens and such. Uh, manual climate control, single zone there for you. And then AM FM stereo, it's going to get six speakers uh, for you on this. 
And then you're going to get the Sync 4 system with the eight with the 12 inch touchscreen here for you, uh, with information on demand and such. Um, it's going to get to you the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto 911 Assist digital owner's manual over there updates. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, conversational voice command. So then you can set it up to say, like, okay, Ford or whatever for it to listen there for you. Day night mirror. So you just pull that uh, lever right there and it'll uh, flip that for day night. Uh, the visors, the driver and passenger will get covered mirrors on their visors now. And then you will have down in here, I think you have auxiliary uh, input jack if you need it there. And then also you're going to get um, two USB ports here and two more down there uh, as well for you. Uh, right there. So, and then I think you get a PowerPoint. It says for hybrids only. So, and then you have the Ford Pass Connect that allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. It's a free app you download, connect your vehicle in. You can uh, unlock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start the vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, see where your vehicle is located, the fuel that you have in your vehicle, the tire pressure, all that stuff using that Ford Pass app. So, there you go. That's all of our standard equipment with the exception of color. So let's talk about interior color options first. You're going to see two different color options. Let me get my color page here. Make sure we're right here um, for you. So on the XLT, we do have two different color interiors, medium, dark, slate, which is what you're seeing right here with this. And then uh, this other one here is, um, I think it's telling us it is a black interior that requires going up to 301A equipment group here. Um, for that. Now it also is showing me that smoke truffle is available, um, but that might be a certain equipment group. So anyway, so looks like to me, medium slate, dark slate is the only option for 301 a at this point. Um, so we'll get into a black appearance package and some other things for that. Cause the black appearance package is available when you go to 301 a. So I think that's how you get your black interior. Otherwise I think it's just that. And then, um, there is supposed to be a smoked truffle interior as well. It looks like on the XLT trim. So um, anyway, it's not showing it in here. So it might take a particular um, package. As we as we add equipment groups, we'll find out when we do that. Actually, let me go up to these uh, packages and see if we add the 301A. If that gets us the smoked truffle, it does not. Still black interior. So... And then 302A, what's that get us there? So there we go. Still that just the one option for interior. So I do do believe that's that's the only one. So uh, order guide's usually more accurate, but there you go. Let's go to um, go back to this and switch back to our 300A. There we go. And then go through the paint colors for you here. Some of these paint colors. I think are available on all of them. So we do have uh, Agate Black that's available. We do also have the Ruby Red. No, no, Rapid Red. Still Rapid Red for this. Uh, four ninety five dollars for that color. Um, we do also have, and it flipped our places for us there, Atlas Blue. It's available. No cost for that color. Uh, we have, I believe that's Carbonized Gray. Yep. Uh, Iconic Silver should be. No cost for either one of those. Oxford White, no cost for it either. There you go. And then when this is a new color, uh, Marsh Gray is what they're calling it. Um, and that one does require you to go up to the 301A equipment group, it looks like, uh, for that color. And then we do have also this last one is the Space White. And that is no cost for that one. And that one is available as well. So there you go. So uh, Space White's available. And um, it says Marsh Gray is available on, on them as well. So um, there you go. So. All right. Okay. So there's our color options for you. And now what I'm going to do is cover some different equipment groups. So we're going to go down here to those equipment groups and start covering those. All right. Now let's get into the 301A equipment group, was, which was what was standard last year on the XLT. This year, they've taken away some of the items on the XLT trim to give you a cheaper 300A equipment group vehicle. So for uh, 1585, we can have the basically what we had for the 301A last year. So if you click on that, you can see what all is included. I'm going to actually use my notes here to make sure it's 100 percent accurate. Your uh, seats are going to be a cloth 402040 uh, front bench seat, seat still, but now it's going to have an eight-way power driver seat with power lumbar uh, armrest with storage uh, still in that. And, and then, oh, they're going to add a 20% storage underneath that, underneath the seat that you can slide and put storage underneath. So that'll be added 
uh, with this. Um, you're also going to get the, uh, actually, let's go ahead and select this so you can see what it looks like on the vehicle. Um, and so with this, you're going to see, you're going to get the chrome uh, steps over here. So uh, six inch uh, angular bright anodized step bars, what they're calling it. Now you're going to get the chrome door handles. So we're going to actually move this around a little bit. Chrome door handles on this here uh, and tailgate handle. Uh, chrome exhaust tip as well. So you're going to get that added as uh, to this. Your grill, you can see those bars. I mentioned that earlier were black. Now they're going to be chrome. So you have these uh, two chrome bars uh, in the front up here going through that grill. Um, and then you're going to have a wrapped steering wheel. And it's just calling it a wrapped, not leather wrapped. They're, get, they're going away from leather as much as they can. So it'll probably be like an Active X or some sort of premium wrapped steering wheel. Uh, but it'll actually it'll make it a little bit softer. Dual zone climate, so the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures uh, for that. Um, then then your wheels now, no matter if you're two wheel drive or four wheel drive, uh, you're going to be getting the 18 inch chrome wheels with this. So two wheel drives now will get the chrome. So that's basically the wheel you're going to get on four by fours on 300A. Now the X, the two wheel drives will get that as well. So then they'll also get the 265, 60 R18 all season. Uh, tires for the two wheel drive as well. So you'll get that all um, added back up for you. So um, there you go. So that's all your equipment for the 201A for 1585. Seems like a lot really to me, uh, getting up, especially if you're two wheel drive, getting upgraded with the, the other wheels. Um, but you get all that. Uh, it mentioned zone lighting, but that's already standard equipment. We mentioned that earlier for you. So there you go. There's the 301A equipment group. All right, now we're going to talk about the 302A equipment group. Very popular equipment group. We order it, usually get a big discount package of like two grand for this package. It is $74.40 for this package. Um, it will include everything we talked about already as part of the 301A equipment group. So all, it'll get all that. So it's going to it's going to get that plus uh, more. Uh, this and we'll also get the connected navigation when you get that. Now I did go ahead and select this. You can see uh, it doesn't really change the appearance of the vehicle. Uh, much uh, you're going to get a more most of those features are going to be on the inside of the vehicle but connected nav one year uh, trial for this on the connected navigation uh, so you have that on the screen also gets upgraded from uh, to the copilot uh, assist 2.0 so this one is the one where you get the 360 camera so last year 360 gig camera was standard on all xlts this year it is not uh, it, you get it when you go to 302a equipment group so you'll get a camera under each of the mirrors so like i told i pointed out earlier that there's a camera to the mirror and that was not a uh, standard as part of this equipment group. Um, you also get the adaptive cruise control. That's going to get you the lane centering, predictive speed assist and the stop and go. So the, basically it's going to slow you down. If the car in front of you is going slower than you, it'll slow you down to go their speed and even bring it to complete stop. If you need to, as part of that stop and go, just hit your resume and you'll start going again with that safe distance you pass them then it'll pick you up to the speed you had it at and then you ha have the predictive speed assist as well so that's basically your speed sign recognition so you down on curves that kind of thing and then you have your lane centering that'll help keep you in the center of your lane uh, when, when you have the cruise control activated now earlier i mentioned in the safety equipment you have the automatic emergency braking it said camera only they've removed the wording camera only on this and now we have automatic emergency braking oncoming and then also we do have the evasive steering assist. They did the same thing. So they took out the wording camera only. So, um, yeah, so I'm not sure I'll get more information on both of those at some point and do a video on that driver state detection. Um, so that's, I'm not sure exactly. I think that's because it gets you the, the detection now for the driver. If you're paying attention to watching the road, cause it's part of that blue cruise. So, cause I think, um, this will come with the blue cruise now on this. So I'll have to look. I don't actually, I don't see it in there, but, uh, anyway, it should get that detection for you as well. And then we do have the front sensing system as well. So you'll have the centers on the back and the front, and then you'll have, uh, at, to your tow technology, we'll add a little more. So now you're going to get the pro trailer backup assist and the pro trailer hitch assist. Those two technologies require your 360 camera, which is why it was not available before. Uh, auto dimming rear view mirror. So instead of a little lever on the uh, dimming mirror, you're going to have the auto dimming now. And then your mirrors are going to be upgraded. So not only just power and heat for those mirrors, but now you're going to have the high intensity security approach lamps that are going to light down beside you. So when you have the zone lighting, we'll light up the side of the vehicle as well. The LED spotlights as well. And you're going to get the chrome mirror caps. It's actually not showing you that, but in here, the order guide says say chrome mirror caps as well. Um, so there you go. And then we have remote start system. And that will include remote tailgate release. So you can release and the tailgate's going to come down with a remote. Um, also, your seats are going to go from that 40-20-40 split bend seat 
to a 40 console 40 seat 10 way power driver seat with power lumbar eight way power passenger seat with power lumbar as well you'll get the two smart usb ports uh will be um will that you normally would have um on the console there it is going to be you're going to have that but I, I believe it goes in the media hub area now heated front seats as well driver and front passenger here's where you get your intelligent uh access with the push button start so you can just leave that key on in your pocket it'll go from a flip key to a keyless a key so you can just start it with the key in your pocket also get power sliding rear window so that's going to be included along with your uh, rear defrost in the back um, and then also you're going to get the 400 watt outlets, uh, one in behind the cat behind the console and then one in the bed as well. Now do note that it says 3.5 power boost hybrids. It's uh, going to be ordered with a 2.4 kilowatt pro power on board instead of the 400 watts in the bed back there. So there you go. Then I covered everything for some reason. I was thinking blue cruise is going to be included in that. Oh, no, Blue Cruise is going to be a standalone option on the uh, on this, but it will have the hardware for the detection, I believe, for that. Uh, so that's why you have that driver detection that I mentioned earlier. I haven't seen that before until this year. So there you go. That's a 302A. A lot of equipment. It's 7440. I listed a lot of things off. Does that add up to enough uh, for that? Um, you know, a lot of people like a lot of the features as part of 302A, and they'll always throw out a discount package of like $2,000 for this package. So it's really like getting it for 5440. All right, we're going to go ahead and go over the 303A equipment group now. That is the high uh, package, what they're calling it. So there's a base, standard, mid, and high because last year 301A. So this one's 11915 more than your base 300A for this. And it's going to basically, you're going to get everything we've already talked about as part of the 302A and 301A upgrades into this one with some differences so instead of those 18 inch chrome wheels this is where you're going to get the 20 20 inch chrome wheels for this package so i did select it so you can see now you're getting a different design 20 inch chrome wheels with this one here and you're going to get the uh, tires that will go along with that it doesn't actually list it here um there you go you're going to get that uh, so that'll be different so instead of the the 18s you get those 20s um and then also with this you're going to get the bno audio sound system by bang and olufsen gives you eight speakers including a subwoofer hd radio as well with that you also get upgraded with power adjustable pedals with this package too uh, so that you'll get that so electronically controlled forward and back and you get the mobile office package included in this as well which is a great segue to start talking about packages and we'll start with the mobile office package now let's talk about the mobile office package now this package is standard on king ranch platinum and raptor uh, it is included on the xlt high 303a tremor high 402a lariat high 502a it is available on the stx mid 200a stx fx4 201a and also available on the XLT Standard 301A, XLT Mid 302, Trimmer 401A, Lariat Mid 501A. So it's going to be available with those. So there you go. Uh, on the STX uh, vehicles, it will come with the console work surface. So you kind of see in that because you do get the floor console. So it's going to flip that up and allow you to put your laptop on it and work it. Also, you get the 400 watt outlets as part of this. So they're going to be one behind the, the console inside. And then also in the one in the bed, so in the back of the bed. So you're going to get 400 watt outlet there to be able to plug different devices in and there, that kind of stuff, which comes in handy. Now on the XLT, um, on the standard 301A, uh, which includes all the STX features, it says, plus you'll get bucket seats. So on this, you'll get bucket seats. You'll also get the lockable rear storage for the Super Crew models uh, with this package. So um again requires that front bucket seats there for it because they they no longer are, i think putting it on the the 40 20 40. now on the xlt mid 302a xlt high 303a tremor lariat king ranch platinum and raptors um include uh include xlt standard 301a features plus you'll get the wireless charging pad so you'll get the wireless charging pad with this package uh when it's included with all those others so that's that's something else to note there and then also mentioned down here as notes the two kilowatt pro power on board replaces a 400 watt outlet on the tremor king ranch platinum 701a platinum 702a raptor 801 and 802a's 
Um, so instead of 400 watt outlet. And then also 2.4 kilowatt pro power on board will replace a 400 watt outlet as listed above um, when equipped with the power boost uh, vehicles. So there you go. So 400 watt inverter standard beginning on XLT. So, and then, yeah, keep that in mind. You're going to have those already included. So, um, but that gives you a good idea, kind of that mobile office package, giving the console work surface and everything. Um, so those are the options for that uh, for the different trim levels. All right, so now let's talk about some, the tow haul package here. Uh, the tow haul package here is uh, this is going to be uh, standard on King Ranch Platinum. Also, it's included on Trimmer High 402A. Also available on the XL STX Mid 200A and the STX FX4 201A XLT Trimmer 401A and Lariat. So, uh, and they're going to be different, uh, a little bit different on depends on what you uh, have here. It says uh, so this tow haul package is going to give you. The integrated trailer brake controller. So this is where you're going to get that controller that you can, um, you know, break that and can control the gain on the brake as you're braking, which is really nice to have. Um, also, with this package, you're going to get the 355 electronic locking rear axle uh, that requires the 35 EcoBoost engine, and then you have the 373 electronic locking rear axle with the 5.0 liter engine. Um, but then, of course, that. That is already standard on the the power boost, depending on what engine you have there. Now you can upgrade, as you can see with this in here, to the max trailer tow electronic locking. So it's available equipment. Last year, to get the tow haul package, you did require you to do add the max tow electronic lockers. Just so you're aware, that might happen this year. Um, now that's uh, available on the XL XLT 300A, 17 inch wheels, 18 chrome, 18 inch chrome wheels. Or the 22 inch wheels and then you have the 373 max trailer tow electronic locking axle um, not available with the xl xlt 300a 17 inch wheels 18 inch chrome wheels or the 22 inch wheels so uh, you have to that availability and then this package is not available with the 2.7 liter ecoboost engine so uh, i think i covered all that uh in here make sure it's all covered so again that is going to be optional on about every trim level again standard on king ranch and platinum now let's talk about the bed utility package. It shows there at 635. I assume it's the same for all of them. Um, now, this package is standard equipment on the King Ranch, Platinum, and the Raptor. Uh, it is included also in the Trimmer High 402A equipment group and available on XLT, Trimmer, uh, 401A, as well as on the Lariat trim. So on the XLT and Lariat 501-500A features, you're going to get the tailgate step. So that's going to allow you... Uh, to be able to flip that tailgate out of the, the top, the tailgate, the step out of the top of the tailgate, I should say. Also, you can get the tailgate work surface. So that's going to be have the ruler and everything on top of the tailgate itself. Um, you're going to also now get, instead of the four pickup tie downs, you're going to get four um, plates as well on this. So those are going to go on the side. So two on each side of the bed uh, for you. And you're going to get the LED box lighting as well. So that allows you to be able to, to turn a light on inside the bed there so you can see kind of in the corners uh, there that way. Also with that, um, for the Tremor 401A's Raptors, um, and then included, uh, it says include XLT and Lariat features plus the power tailgate. So now we're going to get the power tailgate. So not only power release down, but also up for that as well. Now, on some of these, like the Tremor High 402A uh, Lariat, uh, mid 501A, Lariat 502A, King Ranch, and Platinum. Um, that, that will include everything we talked about, including the power tailgate, LED box lighting, all those other features. Plus, you're going to get the extended uh, six inch extended running boards on the Lariat 501 and 502. Um, of course, not available with the longer wheelbase. And then also power deployable running boards on the King Ranch and Platinum. And then you get the Pro Access tailgate. That's the big one. Pro Access tailgate on those giving you that the tailgate where you can not only flip it down, but also you're going to be able to open it. And it will also get the tailgate work surface as well there uh, too. So you won't get the tailgate step though. So that's one thing they don't mention in here. You'll get tailgate step. Uh, you'll lose the tailgate step. I guess it does say it right here, not included. Uh, so there you go. That is a difference there. And that is all part of the bed utility package, um, depending on what trim level you're looking at. All right, so now let's talk about the FX4 off-road package. Now, this package is available on the XLT, uh, 301A, 302A, and 303A, as well as on the Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, 
701A and Platinum 702A uh, and does require 4x4. So those are some of the requirements there for you. Um, now this in here is going to get upgraded with your electron locking gear ratio. So it'll be a 331 with the 5.0 liter and the EcoBoost engine. Uh, and then 355 electron locking gear ratio on the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. And of course, you'll, you already have a 373 on your hybrid uh, power boost. Um, and because then say it's not available with that. And then you're going to get the 4x4, of course, FX4 off-road decal on the side. Um, and then floor liners inside because you're assuming you're going to take this off-road. So you're going to get the tray like uh, floor liners without the carpeted uh, floor uh, floor mats. Uh, and that'll be included only when the carpet is present for XL, XLT, and Lariat. So I think King Ranch and Platinum will get their floor mats. Uh, hill descent control. So as you're seeing with this, they're coming down the hill in this image. Uh, so that's going to help you control coming down. That basically allows you to be able to control that up to, to 0, uh, 0.5 miles an hour in half mile increments. So it'll basically control the speed coming down for you, kind of like trail control for some of your Broncos and some of your uh, Raptors and such. And then you do get the off-road tuned front shocks on this. So again, ready to go off-road, monotube, rear shocks as well back there. And so it does upgrade those shocks for you. You get a rock crawl mode. Now in the past, we haven't seen that. You had to go to like Raptor to get a rock crawl mode. You get that with the FX4 package. So this is a, this is becoming a very attractive package for those that want to go off-road. Skid plates as well for the fuel tank, transfer case, and front differential down there. So that'll help protect it uh, up there. And then you can, as upgrades if you want, um, on the 3.5 EcoBoost, you can upgrade uh, to uh, from the 331 to the 355 electronic locking. And on the 5.0 liter in the 2.7, you can upgrade uh, to the 373 electronic locking gear ratio. So there you go. And then also you can upgrade your tires to an LT26570 R18 if you want all-terrain tire. Now, um, they are expecting on this uh, uh, FX4 off-road package, it doesn't mention that you can need to go to the 18-inch wheel, but um, it almost looks like uh, it uh, wants you to do that So because you get that other tire right there. So there you go. Uh, there is that. So yeah, no, no, no mentioning of changing the tire. So like you have a King Ranch or something, um, normally get twenties. Um, it doesn't say that uh, you have to do that uh, in there. So there you go. Now let's talk about the XLT black appearance package. This package is available on the XLT 301A or the 302A. Now available on 300A or the 303A equipment group. We got a special one for the 303A. Also, this does require super crew configuration and 145 inch wheelbase and it is not available as you see down here with uh, the 3.5 ecoboost two wheel drive configuration four by four you're good but not on the two wheel drive configuration so this package here as you can tell is going to give you all the nice it actually has it right there it's going to give you the 18 inch gloss black painted alloy wheel so going to give you that that upgraded wheel uh, six inch black running boards on the side so you're going to get that uh, body colored front and rear bumpers. So instead of the chrome, now you're going to be body colored for those. Um, box side decal uh, for you that'll be gray. Um, and uh, that'll say 4x4 or FX4 in gray if you have those. Um, so that's what it'll look like. I don't know if it has one if it's two wheel drive. And then black exterior badging as well. So that means your front badging up here will go from the blue and the white to the black with the white. Um, and then, of course, your badging will be black instead of chrome over here on the side, the fender badges and stuff like that. Um, and then the grill will be black as well. So instead of that chrome bar coming across here, now it's going to be it's going to go back to black. Um, and then I believe, too, on the back, you're going to get the the F-150 in black, the lettering back there as well. So it just says badging. So I believe it has that as well back there. Now, on the interior features, you're going to get dark interior. This is where you get your black interior. Uh, also, you get the floor shifter. Uh, so instead of just getting the console with the shifter on the column, um, now you're going to get the console with the shifter there. That is the only way to get that. And then the black and unique sport cloth seats with the buckets. So 40 console, 40 front seats. So there you go, the black appearance package. And that's really not too bad. It's, it's showing 595 here. And to me, that's a pretty cheap uh, package upgrade uh, to have a really cool look there for you. All right, now I want to talk about the XLT Black Appearance Package Plus. Now, this one's $2,200 um, on top of the what you have to do to get to those because this is available on the mid package 
in the high package. So you don't have to go up to the 303, 303A to get this. You can do get this on the 302A as well. And this is uh, does require the 145-inch wheelbase with the Super Crew configuration. Uh, not available, again, on the two-wheel drive EcoBoost motor. And, of course, not available with the other black appearance package. That makes sense. Now, what this is going to do is going to, instead of 18, you're going to get 20-inch gloss black painted aluminum wheel. Uh, same as the other black appearance package, you're going to get the running boards on the side. You're going to get the body-colored front and rear bumpers, the black exterior badging. That's going to be the same. Your grill is going to be the same as the other appearance package. Uh, the box side decal, if you have a 4x4 or FX4, uh, that's also going to be the same. Now, uh, so you're going to get upgraded with a dual exhaust with the black tips. So that'll be a little bit different uh, than you did see with the other package. Interior accents, just like with the other black appearance package. Also floor shifter, like the other one. And then also the black interior. Uh, black, unique cloth seats um, on the 202A only. Because the 303A, if you order this, gets the ActiveX seats. With this, so this is the only way to get. Well, it's not leather, leather-ish seats. Um, a lot of people don't don't like the ActiveX seats because they think, claim they're not leather. But I've had leather seats. I have these. I think they're pretty close. Uh, I like them. I like the wear on the ActiveX better than leather. So uh, there you go. That is the difference there, and that's uh, twenty-two hundred dollars for that package. And it does say I did go to three hundred three A, and that's twenty-two hundred dollars. So let's go to the three hundred two A. and see if it's the same price. Um, it is It is actually $15.95 because instead of getting that, you don't get the ActiveX. So it is a little bit cheaper if you get this with the 302A, which is $15.95 that route. All right, and last uh, package I want to talk about for the XLT trim, as you can see, uh, is the Blue Cruise Equipped. Uh, so you get the equipment and one-year plan included for $495. Um, this is available on the 302A mid package and the 303A high package. So you do have to go up to that. And this is very interesting. It ships with the Blue Cruise 1.4. And I thought 1.3 was the last version they had, but we have a new version. And this is saying that they're going to be shipped equipped with the newest updated software for those so that gets you the lane being able to lane change as well as predictive speed as well in lane repositioning as well which i actually like a lot i have that with my maki -E now so that's pretty cool so this is going to give you the blue cruise uh, kind of goes information about that basically it's your hands-free driving right here so that allows you to go hands-free on all your divided highways uh, so yeah, includes a lane change assist so you just put your turn signal on and it's going to switch lanes uh, in lane repositioning you have that big truck beside you right next to you it'll actually shift you over just a little bit and then uh, give you a little bit of room and then uh so uh, other it says significantly enhanced hands-free driving performance including greater abil uh, availability ability to navigate narrow lanes and curves and improved in lane stability for more continuous drive so that's the the, the newest update to that um and i, I will say mine's gotten uh much better than my lightning did with the first version of that so there you go so that is something you can get again on the 302 or 303a includes one year plan for 495 which not a bad little uh, deal right there and then it gets you the equipment so without this package like 300 301a you don't even get the hardware and you won't get the hardware on the mid or the high package the sensors at all unless you add this package so this is where you get the equipment and everything as well as the one year plan now what I want to do is talk about the gear ratios, and I'm actually going to probably include this this segment in all the videos because um, it's pretty much uh, depend. It depends on what, not really necessarily what trim level we have, but it depends on what engine you have and what cab configuration you have and wheelbase you have. So uh, I'm going to kind of break it down. I do actually have a whole chart here <laughs> uh, for this, so I'm going to kind of go through in this. Uh, now, on most vehicles, it's going to be a standard non limitless slip axle, so. Uh, let's kind of go through and start with the 2.7 liter engine first. And when you select these, you'll be able to see that once you select the engines. I'm doing this on the XL video, but it kind of works on all of them. So 2.7, right? And it depends on what, if you're two-wheel drive or 4x4. So on the 2.7 liter, if you're a two-wheel drive or 4x4 uh, with the 141 and 145-inch wheelbase, so that's going to be your regular cab, long bed, and your super crew short bed. I believe it's your super cab, long bed. I don't know. Anyway, that 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 uh, that wheelbase there, that's going to be a standard uh, non-limited slip 3.55 gear ratio. 
Now that's going to, what's going to be standard. Now on the four by four with the two seven and the, um, 145 inch wheelbase. Um, it is also, um, is if you have the FX four package, you're going to get the electronic locking 355 as part of that. So we'll talk about that package. Um, when we get to, to the different optional packages and everything, you'll probably see that. Now, with the 5.0 liter V8 engine, um, the, the standard for the 145 inch wheelbase uh, two wheel drives will be a non limited slip 315. So uh, if we select the 5.0, you'll see that change. Um, see, now it's 315 non limited slip axle there for that configuration. Um, and then your, if you have a hundred and a five Oh with 145 inch or 157 inch wheelbase with a four by four is going to be a standard 331 limited slip. So if we flip over to four by four here, then it's probably going to go, uh, it's going to change that. So we do want to change that and it'll flip. Now you see it's a 331 non limited slip. So if you make those changes, you'll see what that standard gear ratio is uh, for all those configurations uh, right there. And then of course, um, if you do have the FX4, will come with an electronic locking gear ratio in those situations. So you'll wanna, uh, we'll talk more about that when we get to FX4. Tow haul as well, we'll get electronic locking. So we'll talk more about that in those packages. Now the three, let's go to the 3.5 EcoBoost engine. So if you have that engine, um, and then we'll kick the two-wheel drive for that. Yes. All right. So you go to that configuration, you'll see it's a 331 non-limited slip. So um, if it is going to be with 141-inch wheelbase and 145-inch wheelbase, 3.5 V6 um, will come with that 331 non-limited slip rear axle. Also, it looks like the 4x4s. And those two wheelbases, as well as the 147 inch wheelbase, will also be the 331 non limited slip rear axle. So just uh, kind of note that. And again, um, when you go to different packages, FX4, um, you know, tow haul and such, it'll change to electronic locking in those situations. Now, the 3.5 e um, hybrid, though, it's not listed in here. Uh, when you go to the hybrid motor, regardless, um, you're going to get. A electronic locking 373, whether it be two wheel drive or four by four on your hybrid engine. Just so much torque that the hybrid engine creates that it needs a 373 electronic locking. So that's what you're going to see on those. Now, of course, when we get into, uh, we'll talk, you know, when you probably went over on the trimmer and everything, trimmer is going to be electronic locking 373, as well as your Raptor will be a 4.1 electronic locking gear ratio for those. Um, so you're going to be aware of that. And then, of course, if you're FX4 STX um, on those with the 2.7 liter, it's going to get electronic locking 355. And then a 5.0 will be with the FX4 STX package um, will be a electronic locking 331. Um, or you can go with the, if you have the tow haul package, of course, you'll get the upgraded with a 373 on that one. So uh, there's a lot of, again, there's a table. <laughs> there's a lot of them, but as you select them, uh, that's what's standard. And of course, there are options. You can go and it's like, you know what? I don't want that package, but I want to upgrade. Then you can upgrade. You can see the cost on those. So pick your motor, pick your drivetrain. That's, that's what I suggest. And then see what it's going to be standard and then what it's going to cost for you to go up. And you'll have you'll see those optional three you know you get optional electronic locking on all these and you'll see the cost on those and then certain packages will also come with them like the fx4 package and such will also automatically come with electronic locking as well tow haul as well because it needs that electronic locking gear ratio for those situations now we're going to get into standalone options and i like to start these off by going over the powertrain options that are available for you um and i might need my notes this other page here. So as we mentioned earlier, 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine is standard equipment on about all of your different configurations other than the Super Crew long bed, um, that six and a half foot bed, and then it's the 5.0. Uh, if you want the 5.0 liter V8 engine, it's a 1,660. And that one, that engine is available on any of your bed configurations and any of your different equipment groups. And then you also have the 3.5 V6 EcoBoost engine, also with auto start, start stop technology, and is also 1,660, which is not a bad deal because in the past it was more expensive than the 5.0. So now those are the same price, uh, and so that is also available. Looks like on any of your different equipment groups as well as optional equipment. 
uh, for you and any of your cab configurations too. So there you go. You have that. Now the power boost, you'll notice there's no price because on the power boost, as I mentioned earlier, uh, briefly requires at least the 301A equipment group. So let's uh, actually go to the 301A so we can, I like to see and show you guys what that cost is. And you can do the build and price on your own. It's not a big deal, but you do have to go up to that. And then, um, still didn't show our power boost so does it require something else um let's go four by four just to see it should be uh, showing up um there we go now it's showing our price there it is uh 36 uh 3560 for the full the hybrid uh evidently requires four wheel drive as well it does require super crew configuration i noticed on here for the three 301 and 302a um, and of course, 303A is uh, only available in Super Crew anyway, as well as the 302A. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but the Super Cab is only available in 300 and 301A. Actually, I think I did mention it. So with this in here, it does require you to go uh, to that configuration uh, for you. So there you go. So 30, 35. Now, I do think right now they're running a $2,000 discount for the Power Boost. Uh, so discount. So there's an option for you right there if you want to go that route. Um, but there you go. All right, so we're going to go back to two-wheel drive and move on down. Talk about some other different standalone options as we move down. Um, gear ratios, um, we kind of covered that already. Um, and then, of course, the packages. Uh, we kind of covered equipment groups and packages as well. And then the wheels. All the, there's no real standalone wheel option for us here. Um, so they're all part of different packages uh, that you we've talked about. So no real standalone wheel here. Um, and then... Uh, moving on down, we do have the pickup box covers. Now, all the other videos, we've covered this as well. $2,200 for the retractable bed cover. Um, that is a dealer-installed option there for you. Um, so there you go. Uh, so that there will be put on. No, that's actually done at the factory. Sorry, that's a Ford accessory uh, bed cover uh, that's done at the factory. And um, let's see, where's that at? There you go. Um, that is not available with your plastic drop-in liner for you. So just keep that in mind. Um, and also we do have the hard folding one. It's $1,200. Again, not available with the plastic drop-in liner. Also it's saying not the, forgot to mention the retractable is not available with the eight foot bed or, or we don't have a eight foot bed option. So I'm not sure why they listed that. And then also you have the soft folding one also not available with the plastic drop-in liner. So, uh, with the other ones, we uh, noticed that also was the toolbox. Toolbox is not an option on the XLT. So it's available on the XL and the STX, but not available on the XLT trap. We do also have the individual tire pressure monitoring system with the customer placed camera, trailer camera. So this is 1185. This allows you to place a camera on the trailer and be able to use it within your system. Um, so that, that one there, I believe if you click on it, uh, probably does require this available XLT trimmer lariat. King Ranch requires 360 camera and the trailer tow package or the max trailer tow package. And um, they actually, they need to update that because that's actually where old verbiage, there is no longer a trailer tow package. So it probably requires the tow haul package now. So let me look at my notes on that and make sure we have that right here uh, for that. Uh, let's see where that's listed. Okay, so I did find it in here. It does not let us know. It does say it does require the 302A or 303A because it requires that front, the 360 camera. Um, so it get, does give you the TPMS uh, for the trailer, uh, which is nice to have. Uh, so uh, sen senses the tire pressure on all those tires uh, up to six. So if you have a, a triple axle uh, trailer, it'll uh, do all of them. And then a 12 pin connector, if you have it, seven and seven and four pin connector and uh, does support that now it does say wheels uh, there's some requirements with the putting the camera on the trailer and everything right there so you can check that out um, does not mention that it need that requires it just mentioned tow, uh, tow package which are not again old verbiage i would assume it does require the uh, tow haul package it doesn't mention it in here so probably since you already have the hitch and everything it doesn't require that so there you go all right 
Moving down, uh, we do have the foldable pickup box bed extender. We haven't seen that on the other two trims. We are seeing it now for $990. Uh, so you'll have that. That is uh, a dealer installed option. So the dealership would install that and put it in your vehicle when it comes in. Not available with a tunnel cover box retractable uh, or the bed divider. So we'll probably get to that in just a second here. Pro Power on board, 7.2 kilowatt. That is for hybrid only. So $850 for that. Uh, so you do have that as an option. That is going to be a factory option. It'll come with it from the factory. And again, does require the full hybrid. And uh, that is not available in 300 a So it does require 301A, 302, or 303 because it does, because uh, you again, you have to go to get the hybrid. You have to go to 301 or above. Tough bed spray and liner is 595 So there's an option. And that is going to be a Ford accessory option, but it will be done at the factory. Uh, for you and available with any of your equipment groups uh, right there. Uh, and then we talked about the soft folding already. Illuminated Ford logo badge is 530. That is pretty cool. That is a dealer installed option. So the dealership would put it on your vehicle when it comes in. Available with any of your equipment groups, even the 300A. Bed divider. So that's going to be able to put it in and, and divide the bed. And so they've actually partitioned, uh, they actually really redid the bed itself for this. So you can, uh, that comes in real handy there for you. And I believe that is a um, Ford accessory. Nope. There it is. It is a dealer installed option. So it will be shipped to the dealership and they'll put it in. Available with any of your equipment groups, but not available with the hard or retractable bed cover and not available with the bed extender, the bed mat, or the pivot storage box, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit later. Security code keyless entry keypad for the driver's side, 455. We have not seen this, haven't mentioned keypad at all. They took the keypad away on the F-150. XL, STX, you can't even get the uh, this option, uh, the dealer installed option for this. Uh, you do get it here, and again, it's a, the dealership would put it in the vehicle or put it on your vehicle for you. Um, that is a big deal. A lot of people aren't liking that. Is available with any of your equipment groups, uh, by the way, in the XLT trip. Retractable rear center step. Uh, so that is 430. I still don't think they have a picture of that. Nope. So that is available for you. Um, and that is going to be a factory option that they'll put on uh, at the factory and put it in your vehicle. So if I can find it here, it might be a Ford accessory type of option. Um, there it is. And then that there um, is, uh, if ordered with the XLT black appearance package, requires the 3.5 hybrid or the power boost. So if you do get this, with the black appearance package requires a power boost for some reason. Um, this is available on the 302A, 303A, and on the 301A with a super crew configuration only. Uh, so there you go. Now, the paint protective film, that is $400. So you have that. That is uh, going to be uh, done at the factory. Uh, it's right there. So it is available on any of your equipment groups. And it's a Ford accessory, but it's done at the factory. The plastic drop-in bed liner is $350. Uh, that one there is uh, available on any of your equipment groups. Um, and this in here uh, does say that it's not available with a retractable bed cover. Uh, also, it says on the 300A, not available with the bed utility package. You can't get this with the bed utility package. And on the 301A, if you order the bed utility package, or the mobile office package must you uh, or the mobile office package must order both um, the 68L and the 50M. Not sure what those are, but there you go. There's a note for that. And then 302A and 303A requires a bed utility package when you order this. So there you go. So there's some requirements with the, that bed cover. So um, don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> a pivot uh, storage box by Undercover. Uh, that is there. Uh, actually, there's an image on that one there. So you can see that's a dealer installed option there for you. And uh, so you can put that in there if you want. And uh, that one there is not available with your... Um, hard and retractable bed covers, the bed divider, the bed extender. Uh, so not available with those and is available with any of your equipment groups. So, so there you go. Uh, next down is the bed mat. So $200 for the bed mat and doesn't show an image of that, but you can see not available with a lot of things there. And that is a dealer installed option. Be shipped to the dealership and they'll put it in your vehicle. Uh, so not available um, with the drop-in liner. I'm not available with a hard or retractable bed cover or the bed divider and is available with any of your equipment groups, though. 
All right, we also do have the engine block heater. That's a factory option. Uh, it should be available with any of your equipment groups here. Um, and then that that there does uh, say on the 5.0 liter engine does require the front license plate bracket. So in states like Kansas, where it's not required, uh, you would have to do it on this. And speaking of front license plate bracket, if you're in a state that requires a front license plate bracket, it's standard equipment, but states like us that don't require it, it's optional. Either way, the dealer put it in at no charge to you. All right, the tailgate uh, dampening back here, 190. Uh, so that's going to help that. It's going to give you some struts on there so it'll come down nice and slow for you. Um, that, I believe, is a uh, dealer installed option. I think the dealership would be putting that in, the, in there for you, if I can find it. Um, there it is. Yep, and is available, it looks like, with your... 301 or 300A or 301A, not available with a 302 or 303, which surprises me a little bit. Um, the wheel well liner. Oh, probably because you get the power tailgate um, for it, and that's probably why you're not getting that. And it's or the power down. So power release, it wouldn't need it. So there, that's why. Okay, wheel well liner. So that is 180 for that. And uh, so that is going to be done at the factory. I believe that's a Ford accessory option there. There it is. And that is available on the 302 or 303. Not available with 300 or 301A. The window deflector, the sides, side ones, it's 160 for that. Um, and that is going to be a dealer installed option uh, right there. And that is available on any of your equipment groups. There you go. The front and rear molded splash guards without the wheel lip molding is 150. I don't think they have images of that. Nope. That is a dealer installed option as well. Um, so let me make sure I have that. It is available on any of your equipment groups and no other requirements there for that or limitations. The decal on the back of the bed. So that is going to be part of your black appearance package. Um, but also you're going to get it on the, le you'll notice the letters. There you go. You get the black decals on the back tailgate. Uh, that is pretty cool. That is a dealer installed option and is available with any of your equipment groups. The bed cargo net horizontal, $85. That is also a dealer installed option uh, that the, um, that the dealer would put in your view. I probably just give it to you in this case, because you'll put it in when you need it available, with any of your equipment groups, the wheel lock kit exposed. So they're going to, they should replace one of your lug nuts of each of the wheels for the locking one. Make sure they install this. So some dealers will just put it and leave it in the container, put it in your vehicle, make sure they install that. It's free of charge if you do. And that is a dealer because that is a dealer installed option available in any of your equipment groups. Spare tire lock. So I mentioned earlier that this back here where you're uh, to lower that spare tire down, that is no longer a lock on it. If you want it, it's $80 now to add it. And it's a dealer installed option. The dealer put it in it available on any of your equipment groups right there. All right. We have the um, bed tailgate lock by McGuard. So that's $50. So when that bed is down, you can actually remove the tailgate. I'm sorry. When the tailgate's down, you can move the tailgate. This locks it. So people, if you want to have the tailgate down and you're driving with something, you have it down, they can't steal your tailgate from you. So that is a dealer installed option and they would put it on your vehicle for you. Um, I'm not seeing it actually. Um, all right. I'm not seeing it on my list, but there you go. Should be available. There it is. All right. And available in any of your equipment groups. Yep. And then twin panel moonroof. You'll notice there's no price there. Uh, twin panel moonroof is a factory option and does require certain equipment groups. So it does require the 303A equipment group. So you got to go up to 303A to get that. I believe it's like right around $2,000, $1,500, probably somewhere in there for that option. Pro power on board, uh, two uh, kilo, two point four kilowatt. That's gonna. The reason it's not listed is that's standard on your hybrids. So that will be checked when you add a hybrid motor to the vehicle. So, and then your exterior mirrors. You can get if you want the telescoping mirrors, two seventy five for that. That is a factory option for you. So it's still gonna be manual fold, manual telescoping, power glass with a heat turn signal, security approach lamp, side uh, the spotlights on the side as well. And um, in the black skull caps, it says requires the tow haul package. So you want to make sure you get that as well to on the vehicle available in any of your equipment groups, though, if you'd like it. All right. Now moving to the interior options, the in vehicle safe by console vault is 430. That is a dealer installed option. And I believe if I remember right on this here, um, might require certain equipment groups. There you go. So not available with a split bench seat. Um, does have to have a console, 
Um, so that why it's that means it's not available with a 300A. So available on 301, 302, or 303. Integrated trailer brake controller is 275, and that is a factory installed option. Um, does require the 2.7 EcoBoost engine for this because um, the only other way to get the integrated trailer brake controller on the other motors is to get the tow haul package. So 2.7, you can't get the tow haul package, so you can add it as optional equipment here with the 2.7 liter engine. So that's how that's done. The roadside assistance kit, commercial one. Uh, I think there's an image of this, 240 for that. Dealer installed option. Uh, you can also get this through Ford Accessories, and that's how I recommend that you get that. But uh, if you're wanting to, you can. Uh, it'll get shipped to the dealership, available in any of your equipment groups. We do have the Ash. I'm going to go down to this one. Roadside assistance kit with the Ford logo, so you'll see what that looks like. That is also available. Uh, that one requires a 3.5 EcoBoost for some reason. I, I don't I don't make this up. I don't know what it is. Anyway, available in any of your equipment groups. Otherwise, <laughs> it does require the 3.5 EcoBoost. I don't know. Get that through Ford Accessories, and then it doesn't require the, the EcoBoost motor. But there you go. The Ash Cup with the lighter. That is a dealer-installed option as well. Uh, available with any of your equipment groups. Uh, they also have one with a coin holder, uh, but does require the bucket seats. Um so it does uh, not available with the bench seat or the pro power on board with the 7.2 kilowatt for some reason. So that re for that reason, you would have to go with the, um, that one's this one here. You have to go with the 302A or 301A or above. So to get that um, going back, but there is a separate one. If you want the removable cup tray for the 40, 20, 40, and that's $75 option right there. If you want that one instead, and that's available in the 300 or 301A equipment group. So a couple options there. Um, first aid kit, another little kit here, get that through Ford accessories. I recommend you uh, not worry about it. Um, but there you go. That is available for you if you want. Um, and that one there is a deal installed option and, uh, they'll, they'll basically put it in your vehicle and available with any of your equipment groups on that one there. No requirement of a motor on that one. <laughs> um, we do have floor liners, not a uh, price there. Cause that is, uh, requires the, um, actually it is mentioned in here. Um, floor uh, does say floor liners tray like with a carpeted mat, not available with FX4 off road package, but is available with any of your equipment groups. Uh, not sure why it's not giving us a price there, but there we go. Uh, that's that. Um, let's see. Otherwise, um, yeah, there's a couple options that aren't mentioned on here. Uh, the bed tow hooks is a dealer installed option, uh, retractable by Bull Accessories. They haven't been on any of them, they're black, not available with the Super Crew. Um, with a five and a half foot box. Uh, so it should be available with the super cab or with the six and a half foot box for the super crew configuration, any of your equipment groups. Um, let's see what else um, missing. There are also some, some factory options. If you want the black running boards, it is available in the 300A. It is not showing it on the website here. Um, when you go 301A, you get them. Uh, but if you want those on a 300A, you can order them as a standalone option. And another thing I missed on the chrome wheels. So it was up above uh, part of the 302A equipment group. Um, going up here. Uh, you can get the 20-inch chrome wheels on the 302A equipment group. Um, and it will get you the, the tires that go along with it. All season on the two-wheel drives or all-terrain on the 4x4. Not available with the XLT black appearance package, of course. Uh, but so if you want to do upgrade from the alloys to that, you can do that on the 302A equipment group. So there you go. And then there is an upgraded all-terrain tire that we, you would add that goes with that. Um, if you want an LT26570 R18, um, does require the FX4 off-road package. Now they'll be able to 20 inch chrome wheels or the 20 inch black wheels, of course. Um, but that is an option on the 301 and 302 a equipment group as well. So you get a different tire and that's not listed in here either. So there you go. All right. So that's all of our standard equipment, different equipment groups, the different packages, standalone options. And there are some things that require certain things. And now you see why we're doing these videos to clarify some of those um, because you, not everything is listed in there and you might not understand why this gets kicked and not that. Uh, so hopefully we did help you out with that information there for you. And uh, don't forget, order banks are open up right now. So you can go in and order from your uh, local dealership. Hopefully you have a good local dealership. I am going to talk about if you want to order from us here in a little bit. Timestamp is uh, down there if you want to move over to that point. Um, but a couple tips if you're ordering with a, a, your local.
or even with us. Keep us honest as well um, and, uh, and and make sure we're doing the right thing as well. And that is when you go to place that order, you're going to see the order sheet. They're going to give you that, and it'll only list the MSRP on that order sheet. They'll probably have you sign that order sheet. Uh, one of the things you also want to do is they should be actually having you sign a buyer's order as well. When they go to have you sign that, don't just sign it with the MSRP price. Find out and say, so I'm signing this. Is, is that the price that I'm going to have when that vehicle comes in? I don't want to be any surprises. And if it's missing like the dealer fee, have them put the dealer fee on there. What is going to be their dealer fee? What else are you going to add on there? I want to know what's going to be added to the vehicle price when it comes in. I want to know what it's going to be. No surprises. I'm putting in order. I'm going to wait two to three months. Um, I, I don't want any surprises when that comes in and then telling me you have to add this, this, and this, and that you've changed the pricing. Also, with that goes along with that is price protection. So ask them about that. If they say, well, we can't necessarily honor that price because we don't know if Ford's going to raise the prices or not. Well, there's a thing called price protection. So if the person that ordered the vehicle buys the vehicle, then Ford is locking in those prices from what it was when they ordered the vehicle. And they're going to reimburse the dealership back that difference when they see that that vehicle has been booked, entitled, and over to them. Um, 45 days later, they will receive that in the dealer payment statement. So they will get their money back. So make sure the dealer is going to price protect you as well. And you can also protect the incentives. So when you when they go into smart vents, the dealer can pull those incentives. They can per, um, pick the protect date or the sale date. The protect date, that's the date of the incentives of what they were when you ordered your vehicle. The sale date is incentives of what they are right now. So you get as a luxury, uh, as a customer to Ford, you get to pick which ones were better. So that's something that you can get. Make sure the dealership knows about that as well. So uh, those are just some uh, helpful tips for you. Uh, make sure they know what they're going to do. What's their dealer fee, all that kind of stuff. Make sure that you have that on that order sheet that you've signed and that you keep a copy of that for your record as well as your build for you. Um, so there you go. And make sure also they submit the order. Once they submit the order and they put the email address in correctly, you'll get an email back almost immediately saying that an order has been submitted and then you'll know that order has been placed. If you don't get that email, that's where you're going to make sure that dealership went ahead and submit it. I've seen in some cases where a dealership puts the order in, they print the sheet because they want to make sure that's correct for the customer before they submit the order. And then sometimes they forget to go back and hit that submit button. So make sure they've submitted that order for you as well. Now, if you're wanting to order from us, we do have a YouTube special and a special offer for you. And uh, that is if you order with us uh, and you mentioned that you saw this uh, this information on this ad on YouTube, uh, then we're going to do invoice pricing for any ordered XLT F-150 for you. So if you're ordering an XLT, um, then, or actually any of the trim levels with the exception of Raptor, we're going to do MSRP or invoice pricing, sorry, as a YouTube special, as well as if you want to finance the vehicle with us as well. So if you finance the vehicle, we'll also discount that price a thousand dollars off of that. If you finance with us and that can be used to help you uh, get maybe come and pick up the vehicle also help you if you want to have it shipped to you. So you can use that to reduce the price of that because you'll have to pay for those separately uh, instead of including it like we have in the past. Uh, we just discount it at a thousand. So that way, you know, maybe if it doesn't cost you a thousand dollars to get here or to have it shipped to you, you don't get to take benefit of that full thousand. So we thought this made it a lot simpler. Uh, so you can do that as well. So there you go. That is our YouTube special. So make sure easiest way to do is to go to our website, go to the build and price on our website. You can build and price at 25 F-150. Build out the, what you want, how the equipment and everything, and then fill out the form. And then send that over to us. Put in there in the comments that you're uh, wanting a YouTube special. And then we'll know that uh, you want that and uh, make sure you get that. And we can get that order ordered pretty easily off of that order sheet. So it makes it very simple for us. And then we'll just need a copy of your driver's license and sign a couple things and we're good to go. It's that simple. So there you go. That's all we have for this video. Again, we're not done yet. We're going to go through the other trim levels. There's I don't know. There's a lot left still. So uh, we're going to cover all of them in these. So make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of those videos. And hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next one, stay positive. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. And we'll see you in the next video.